Coming up, I cover all the equipment I use to maintain my golf course lawn. This should be a good one. All right, YouTube. So based on a request I received from a viewer from my last video on uh, how to create a golf course lawn, uh, here's an equipment review. This is all the, the tools that I use uh, to keep the lawn looking like this. So let's, let's step through each one of them. Um, if you guys haven't seen my review on the True Cut already, uh, check my videos. I've got like a detailed review. It's like a 10, 12 minute review that goes into depth on all the features of the mower, why I like it. Um, you know, it's a really, really good review. So check that out. But the, the core piece is this bad boy. It's the True Cut C25 real mower. Uh, this is my baby. Absolutely love it. Uh, use this every every two to three days, uh, depending on whether it rains or not, to keep the lawn looking like this. You have to a big part of, of making the lawn look this nice is how often you mow it. You have to have the right mower, and then you have to mow, you know, several times a week to keep it looking nice. So this is a core staple. Uh, of course, we got to have our safety equipment. So got my gloves here that I use, and safety glasses, and a hat. Keep the sun off my head, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much the mower. So moving around. I invested in, in the steel combi system. I think this is the, the 91, the KM91 um, uh, setup. So what I have here is just one power unit, right? And then I can swap between uh, like a shrub trimmer, uh, string trimmer, and then an edger so it's like so you have to just buy one of these and you can just buy the different attachments and it gives you the ability to uh you know to do it carry out a lot of different tasks and then finally you have the uh the spreader so in the last video you guys saw my spreader broke so um a friend was moving out of towns and he had one of these so was able to pick it up pretty cheap so uh the earthway uh even spread is what this guy is it's a lot nicer than the scots when i was running uh, it holds a little bit more than the Scots, and it's just a nicer setup. You know, the air-filled wheels. Um, it's because it, because this, um, I guess, the broadcast, the spreader sits a little higher off the ground. It casts a bigger, uh, like a bigger path. So I really, really like this spreader. I've only used it once so far, but I used it to, to to put some Milo down in the front yard there the other day, and it uh, it did a really, really, really good job. So one question we'd be asking is, you know, you have the um, the combi system why an edger and a string trimmer so the real reason is is like i'm really bad like you see those professional guys that can sit here and 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 turn the trimmer sideways and and uh and get like a really nice line i'm just not that good so what i use is the edger right to get that really really tight line and then i use the string trimmer to to, to cut down any little edges so my process is i'll take this guy let me grab him here i'll take this guy and I'll use them to, again, rough out the main line, you know, to get a really tight line. That one looks pretty good. I've done better, but that's not bad. But then what you'll find is after you use this, you'll still have little stragglers, like around the edge of the grass here, you'll have some little, like, little, little guys sticking up. So that's where the, stink, the, 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 the string trimmer comes in. So you swap from, uh, from the, again, the edger to the string trimmer, and you're able just to kind of run that along the edge. Just I, What I do is I just lay on, on the pavement and just kind of like make a pass right along, really light along the grass, and that takes off any little high, any high edges and gives you that really nice manicured look. So you can kind of see how that looks. I did this yesterday. You can see how that edge, that edge came out, you know, pretty good, I think. Uh, and then also I need a string trimmer for whenever you're dealing with around the rocks out there. So if I zoom in on that, you guys can see uh, the mower can only get so close to, to this section here, right? So you need the string trimmer to really get that, get that looking nice and, uh, and, and tight, just giving it a, a, a finished look. And then a broadcast spreader, you can't, 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 no, I mean, no lawn care uh, program is complete with one of these bad boys because, uh, you know, I have a lawn care service that I have that puts down um, pre-emergent for me, but I still, I still do like a lot of, most of the fertilization I do myself, honestly, right? So they come out and then they'll put down pre-emergent. I put down my own pre-emergent, um, but, and, and to, to do any of these things, like I use a granular product from Spectricide, which if you guys haven't seen my blog post on how to create a golf course lawn, I list all the products I use in there. Uh, so you guys can grab that if you guys want to. If you guys want like a, a reference where you could find, um, you know, all the products I use in the lawn, the, from the fertilizer to the insecticide to the pre-emergents that I that I, I personally apply, uh, you can find all that on that video. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to go check that out if you want. But yeah, but getting back to that, you got to have one of these. Uh, I had a Scots one and it worked really well for uh, two years. This is my third season, so 
uh, it, it, it works fine, but this just is so much nicer. I mean, the air filled tires, it rides better. It's a little taller, like I said, and the, the cat, the, 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 the broadcast, how much it, it, it throws the product out is just so much better. And the hopper's a little bit bigger. So it's like better in every single way. It's a little bit bigger space wise. So you have to consider that if you're considering one of these guys that you're going to need a little more space in your shed or garage, wherever you keep your equipment, but, uh, but, but very well worth it. Um, and I think, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's a ton else I can, I need to cover. I mean, again, the mower is 80% of what you see of the result you see here. It's pretty much, it all comes down to the mower. And then these guys are just to, you know, to, to finishing. So the blower on this is actually really, really good. Uh, it's, you know, I, I, uh, my, my process is typically mow edge then uh, string trim. So like around the mailbox and along that edge, like I was telling you guys about all along there, I do that. And, and then um, finally put the blower attachment on, which is why you see it's on there now, because it's always the last thing I do is just blow everything off and make it look really nice. Sometimes I'll, depending if, I, if, I'm, if it's rained a lot and the grass has kind of gotten, uh, when I mow, sometimes you'll see lines in the lawn wherever the grass comes off the real mower. I don't like the way that looks, so I'll come out here with the with the blower and I'll blow those out to kind of to kind of dissipate the grass. You don't have like big lines of like dead grass everywhere. It looks kind of ugly. So uh, that's what I do with uh, the still. Uh, this thing is a little bit more expensive. If I had to if I had to um, put the the pricing on all of this, uh, I think the still was around 350 for just the um, the power unit, and then each one of these attachments they vary in price. Some of them are you know I, I got um, the I got the blower and the string trimmer together. They, had, they were running a special last year when I got these, and I think they were like $99 each, which is really, really good price. But typically, they, their price range for each attachment is somewhere between uh, you know, 100 bucks to $150, depending on which one you go with. So all in, you're looking at oh, probably six, six hundred, six, six or $700 um, for the entire still setup, which sounds like a lot, but I mean, you think about how much space you save, right? You've got like one unit that works really well. It's really easy starting, never never had a problem with it. Um, and you have all these attachments that work really well. And it's a commercial grade, um, you know, unit. So kind of like my mower, I mean, other than just, you know, in this guy, there's no oil to change, but you just change the spark plug in it and, uh, you know, you're good to go. So, I mean, if, when you're, if you're gonna invest in your lawn equipment, I mean, it's stuff that you're gonna keep for a long time. So um, if you can, swing for slightly better stuff um if you, if you can you know if you can swing it um i bought the scott spreader and it was you know a cheaper unit it was like 50 bucks um and it worked really really well for two years um which again is not a bad i guess not a bad trade-off for 50 dollars um but you know if you want something that's gonna last a long time like this guy should last you know many many seasons all this stuff is gonna last you know as long as i take care of it you know i don't know you know a really long time and then this mower like i said my neighbor has one of these and his is coming up on 18 years old which is kind of kind of crazy when you think about how how uh you know how long a, a mower can, can last if you take good care of it. So that's all I had. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone that you think might be interested in it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If there's anything else you guys want to know about, uh, I'm going to try and get some more shots of me actually doing mowing and edging and that kind of stuff because people seem to like that kind of thing. So I'll work on doing that. But again, if there's anything else that you guys want to see, uh, leave it in the comments below. I will, uh, I'll work on putting that video together for you guys. And again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, have a great, great day.